Yes, it's still June 20, 2013. Okay, this portion of Deborah Tavares' radio show is really important. Please circulate. Please get this information out. This is about the cell phone towers being used as weapons and the propaganda. And she goes into detail citing documents, military documents about what they're doing to us as I speak. Disinformation, make-believe stories. They are lying, of course, to all of us. The, uh, this program is not only a disguise for the geoengineering. We were told in the Iron Mountain uh, report that they would deforest us with mass pollution. They are. Their plan is working. Go to stopthecrime.net. Uh, go to the source tab and read the source documents, the report from Iron Mountain, the silent weapons, quiet wars, the New World Order exposed, and the most recent post of the NASA war plans, and we'll get into some of this information. But this um, uh, sudden oak death and the um, convergence of major universities with your master gardeners is going to be what you're going to see in your town. It just won't be sudden oak death. They'll assign another tree that will be dropping as a result of these poisons. What was really startling at this meeting uh, was they told us uh, that 100% of all native plants will likely be infected. They also told us not to collect uh, leaves and in infestated uh, material, plant material, from federally owned property or county parks and state parks because they didn't want us on the properties to collect that kind of information. We were also informed that sudden oak death was found in Golden Gate Park in San Francisco. They told us up on investigation, they located an infected plant in New landscaping in a yard uh, from a home across from the park. And when the owners were told that the plant was then removed, of course, we asked, what does this mean? Will areas be restricted from public access in order to prevent the mold from spreading? These questions were avoided or unknown at the time. Of course, they know exactly what they're doing. They told us that once you have mold uh, in this infestation on your property, you are infected, and that is that, until they find some remedy. But of course, they know it's coming uh, from the skies and being dumped on us. So we are in great danger. This is multifaceted. This is land restriction, ultimately land theft, and this is uh, a disguise for the real truth of the uh, toxic, poisonous um, killing machine of the uh, geoengineering program. And uh, so this is extremely important to note. I do want to get into the silent weapons document and discuss that a bit with everybody so that you understand the basis and the foundation where all of these horrific plans have been told to us by the globalists in their words. These are uh, documents that uh, they have written that convey their plans. And the Silent Weapons Quiet Wars document is a policy. It was a 1954 Bilderberg policy written by the elites. It's only a 44-page document. And again, it is posted on StopTheCrime.net on the Source Doc tab. Uh, it, uh, the Silent Weapons Document policy maps it all out. It maps out the covert uh, schemes and the fact that war was declared upon all people by this diabolical group of psychopaths, the elites. The silent weapons system is a type of biological warfare which attacks the vitality, options, and mobility of all individuals of a society by knowing, understanding, manipulating, and attacking their sources of natural and social energy and their physical, mental, and emotional strengths and weaknesses. This silent weapon system is applied gradually, 
The public adjusts and adapts slowly over time to its presence and learns to tolerate it, its encroachment on their lives, until the pressure, the psychological pressure, now the economic psychological pressure, becomes too great and we have psychotic breaks, and we have mass shootings and mass civil uh, disorder in our communities. The public cannot comprehend this weapon and cannot believe they are being attacked and subdued by a weapon. This is information in their policy. It is intentional. They are using frequencies. Ultimately, they want to reduce the global population by 95%. Uh, when I spoke with Ted Turner two years ago, which you can find on YouTube, Ted the Terrible Turner, who funded the United Nations, who has this diabolical eugenics plan, he uh, said 95% of the American or of the global population must be eliminated because we're using too many resources, we're causing global warming, and there is going to be food shortages and water shortages because we simply can't sustain the number of people that we have on the planet. And he says it will be coming to America, and as a result of all of the shortages, there will be riots, there will be hunger, famine, and ultimately there will be cannibalism. He said this, again, go to YouTube, Ted the Terrible Turner. I'm recounting a venue up here in Northern California at a winery where he spoke to to a, a, a group of inebriated people because half of those people did not even respond to what he said. Very, very important to understand. I know many of you are Dr. Bill's listeners on a regular basis, and of course you realize that they want it all from us. They want to take it all. Not only our private property, our land, they want our bodies too. They want it all, and they're taking it all stealthily and covertly. A very, very important quote uh, is, we'll know when our disinformation program is complete, when everything the American public believes is false. That was William Casey, CIA director, in 1981. You're back with uh, Deborah Tavares on Dr. Bill Deagle's radio show today, and we are talking about chemicals and biologicals and how they're being used on us in a variety of layers. Uh, it is a landslide of absolute fast and furious uh, uh, explosions upon us in every single area of our lives. We're not only seeing our cities and towns agreeing and signing on to ICLE, the International Council for Local Environmental Initiatives, or AKA the United Nations. Uh, here in Northern California, we are being regionalized. Just what the Iron Mountain documentary said would happen, where local government would become a regionalized government so we would not have the direct influence in our own cities. That's happening right now where they're converging 108 uh, cities into one Bay Area. And this is going to happen all over the country. They want 10 districts within the continental United States. And if you go to the Wildlands Project, you will see how right now uh, our farmers and our ranchers are being assaulted. People are being uh, fined and penalized by the U.S. Forestry, who is behind the Sudden Oak Death Syndrome. And the Sudden Oak Death Syndrome is also being uh, funded by a grant. And I can tell you that all of these agencies, the, um, the uh, environmental uh, Im impact studies have all been uh, voided because, of course, this is a lawless, lawless coup. We are no longer the United States. And the sooner people understand that we are USA, Inc., we have mega corporations, mega banks, the military 
military industrial complex and major universities all posing as a legitimate government on our behalf and they are not. This is illegal lawlessness and corruption and America has been taken already. The sooner we realize what our position is, the sooner we'll be able to function from that new reality and form opinions and ways in which we can then potentially work on solutions. But we have to move into the reality of our current existence. People look up in the skies at the chemtrails, and the gov government says you don't see anything but contrails. Even your local officials, if you go to your local city council uh, meetings like we do, they look at you like you're crazy when we're being heavily chemtrailed overhead almost every single day here in Northern California as I know all of you are as well. Uh, but the real concern that we have to understand with chemtrails is uh, that, of course, it's weather manipulation, it's massive pollution, it is changing the pH of our soil so that uh, it will only allow Monsanto seeds to grow. Bill Gates, of course, is involved with Monsanto as well as the geoengineering programs and the military, etc. And uh, you can go to ToxicSky.org and get more information and look at more links. But uh, on top of the fact that it's blocking the sun, reducing the natural sunlight, which is increasing the molds that our oak trees are dying from, and, and uh, decreasing all of our vitamin D, so we're all deficient, earlier bone, bone breakage, et cetera, massive, massive public health consequences. It's also superheating the ionosphere. They, of course, are creating earthquakes. They can steer hurricanes. They can manufacture and are now manufacturing weather events and droughts. People in the areas of those massive tornadoes encourage them to understand this is engineered. There has been some talk about many of those states uh, signing a legislation that was opposing United Nations Agenda 21 um, programs and that that could have been part of the reason that those states were targeted with the weaponized weather events. I leave that up to you to uh, take a look at that um, possibility. But of course, our health is eroding. Older people are going to die sooner uh, when we're sick. What may not have been fatal before will likely be fatal now. Uh, of course, uh, they are decreasing the food supply, um, and of course, also they can clear up the skies for events like the um, Olympics, uh, et cetera. But more importantly, the underbelly of this program is about the nanofibers that they've dumped on about 90-some percent of the global population. You can go to um, a toxicsky.org and take a look at the Morgellons information we have there. Morgellons, M-O-R-G-E-L-L-O-N-S. This is a secret attack on humanity. These are synthetic fibers that are now in everybody. They're in uh, children, pets, your food, your leaves. Um, they've even tested the sides of all kinds of material. And you can see these nanofibers. Uh, this is, of course, uh, considered a payload uh, delivery system. And ultimately, this is going to uh, affect mind control. Ultimately, what they are doing is this is transhumanism. They are transforming humans, and uh, they want um, uh, they want to have total control of our minds and our bodily functions. You may recall a year or so ago there were a number of, of major media um, spokespeople behind microphones talking about weather or news events and they started talking gibberish. Well, uh, that was showing us that that was phase two. We are all in phase one. Very important to understand that. We are in phase one. Phase two is a, a limited uh, percentage of the global population, but enough to where we have these uh, people that are under complete and total mind control in areas of decision. You have to wonder when uh, in here in Sonoma County, you go before your uh, county board of supervisors, there are a uh, 150 plus people protesting
voting against the designs to add fluoride to the water supply. And the County Board of Supervisors votes 5-0 to, to look at fluoridating the, the water supply.